How's everyone doing today? I hope you're all having a better day than I'm having. My name is Odie Matthews. Welcome back to my channel on this website. I like to call it www.duffelbagshowdown.com slash youtube.edu. And today I'm finally getting a chance to record the boundary supply versus peak design duffel bag. So I'm not here to tell you which one of these is definitively better because I truly believe that each one of these serves its own purpose and it might be right for certain people, it might not be right for other people. It all depends on your style and what you personally like. I personally like both of these bags and I don't think one is particularly better than the other overall. I think certain aspects of each bag exceed the other in different areas and that's what we're here to talk about today to help you figure out which one of these lovely duffel bags is right for you. Let's get into it. Okay, so I will say this off the top, if you want like a more in-depth of the materials and the organization and the layout and like a more in-depth of what I'm gonna go to here, I do have videos on both of these bags on my channel. Feel free to check those out if you wanna know more about one or the other. And I will also say this, I went on a trip, if you saw my packed one in motion kind of bag review thing where I was like vlogging it. I took the WR pouch from this lovely boundary supply bag and I left it at the hotel. So I have some footage luckily that I shot of it before I even left for this trip that I will put in when I'm talking about it, but I cannot really show you much more than what I already took because it's gone forever because the hotel is too far away to go back and get it. I'm just gonna have to get another one. So All right, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the carry, the comfort of the carry. So what you have here is two very different carry options. Both come with the standard duffel bag strap. The Peak Design is a little bit more beefy and meaty and has a longer pad that stretches almost the entire length of the bag, as where the Boundary Supply has just a simple webbing strap that can be connected and disconnected through those lovely G hooks. So both have very simplistic carry styles in terms of the shoulder straps. The Peak Design is more comfortable because it has more padding on it as where the boundary supply is not as comfortable because it is just simple webbing strap my dog is outside my window barking at nothing because we're on the fourth floor so what's he what's he barking at i don't, I don't even know if you a pigeon i can't even tell so where the boundary supply becomes a little bit more comfortable is in backpack mode right so these are the backpack straps that can easily fold away into these little compartments here on the boundary supply. Whereas the Peak Design duffel bag has these little carry handle straps that have to be manipulated around these different lash points on the bag in order to go into backpack mode. And they're not as adjustable, they're not adjustable at all compared to the, peak, uh, the boundary supply, which is fully adjustable and hide away super well. So in terms of shoulder carry, the Peak Design is more comfortable, but in terms if you want one that's more hybrid backpack carry, the Boundary is not only easier to get into backpack mode, but it is definitely more comfortable in backpack mode. And then as for just regular duffel bag carry handles, they are both pretty much exactly the same. Peak Design has your like signature, like rough, rubber type feeling handles where the Boundary Supply just kind of webs some foam in them. They're both fine. They both do the job, they both carry like duffel bags. They'll, you can steal money from a bank and it's gonna fit and it's gonna carry the same in both. I would not suggest doing that. Um, if you do, uh, hit me up and send me some, please, and thank you. So as for carry, it depends on which carry mode you like. More depends on which one's gonna be your style. I personally like being able to go to duffel bag mode, to backpack mode super quick, and I want it to be comfortable, and that's why I like the Peak Design duffel bag a little bit more in terms of comfortable carry. The Peak Design definitely has a leg up on, so you can really modify the way you carry it because there are tons of these little lash points all over the bag to customize where you can put these handles. If you want them long, thin, if you want to do it, uh, we'll call it the CR style for Chase Reed style, where you can just kind of do it like that. So you do have tons of options on the Peak Design on how you want to carry. But like I said, backpack, overall carry, boundary supply. It's the way to go in my opinion. So let's talk about the capacity of these bags, right? They both come in around roughly 30 to 35 liters. However, comma, where the boundary supply bag is a little different is it has these latch, 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 latchy latch points on this bag, right? So you can sense these suckers down to give the bag a more flat appeal or you can extend them all the way out and even as go as far as to unhook them and you get a little extra capacity. That 
in combination with the WR pouch on the outside of the bag, you do get a little bit more capacity in the battery supply. The other thing you get with the battery supply bag is this shoe pouch right here, which the Peak Design does not have a designated shoe pouch. This boundary supply one does have a shoe pouch or dirty clothes pouch or however you want to utilize it on the side of the bag, making it nice in terms of capacity because you get a bunch of different options on whether or not you want to expand, cinch down, have a WR pouch on the outside, or even have a place designated for shoes and dirty clothes. That compartment does eat up dimension on the inside of the bag, but it's still the same capacity, however you want to slice it. The Peak Design bag, however, and all I did was just kind of like throw, which I think there's like other bags in this one, and I just threw some clothes in this one just to kind of puff these out. So I'm not gonna go into packing and anything like that. If you want to know just exactly what I packed in these, you can go back to the original video, but it's my normal layout that I put in these. It's just my Peak Design packing cube, dop kit, tech pouch, extra pair of shoes, a jacket, laptop. Pretty much that's all I ever really take with me, and then my cameras depending on which one I'm taking, and that's pretty much it. So pretty basic loadout. Pretty much what I take on every trip is what I put in these at the time. The design bag, however, does fit things a little bit nicer. It seems like there's a little bit more space on the inside to kind of see what's in there. Both of these have a similar opening, and they open, you know, very wide mouth, and it just seems like the Peak Design, even though they are the same capacity roughly, it just feels like the Peak Design ones opens it's a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to see up in there. But overall, in terms of capacity, these are roughly the same size. This might have a, give you a little bit of an edge in terms of how you can expand and cinch it down. But honestly, when it comes to size, these are both coming in at roughly 35 liters, unless you go with the bigger 60 liter um, duffel bag from Peak Design, which in that case, it's probably going to be a little bit bigger, like two times bigger almost. Uh, these are almost the same size. I can fit basically the same thing in both. And that's that's just kind of true. I mean, they're, they're pretty much the same size. But let's talk about organization, right? So we covered the straps and we covered the capacity, but organization is going to be a big part of why people decide what bag they're gonna get, no matter what bag they're looking at. Organization is usually the key factor. There's things that you want and there's things that you don't want. So if you want a little bit more external organization, a little bit more variety, if you will, then the peak, the boundary supply is going to give you a little bit more variety on the outside pouches. Like I mentioned before, you have that shoe pouch, you have the WR pouch you can connect to it, and then one side is a snap pouch that gives you kind of like a quick access compartment on the side. On that same side of the bag, you have these two little last straps that connect on the side of the bag that you can easily fit a small jacket, a uh, you know, tripod, anything that you would normally put on the outside of the bag, you have the ability with these little lash straps. On the other side of the boundary supply bag, you have a normal zipper compartment that has a little bit of mesh organization in there, as well as just a big pocket that's covered by a rain fly. So the boundary supply bag on the outside has the same amount of pockets, actually it has less pockets technically than the Peak Design, but it gives you a little bit of a variety. One's this way, one's that way, WR pouch, shoe pouch, you kind of have a little bit like four different options. On the Peak Design, however, comma, it's the same pretty much on both sides. You've got a zipper guy along the side, and then you have a zipper guy that also opens up big side. Big side, big, 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 big park compartment, small compartment on both sides. The only difference is with the big compartments, one has two mesh guys and one has uh, three mesh guys. And then also on the two mesh guy, you have a little bit of a spot for like a card if you, if you want it. And then the little zippers are essentially just two big zippered uh, compartments, no, no organization in either of those just pretty basic. So it gives you four pockets technically on the Peak Design, but they're very basic. They're just mesh compartments, kind of a quick access with that small zipper if you wanted it to be. And that's pretty much the way it goes on that. If you want just quick access on the outside of the bag, you don't really care. You know you're gonna put your, your phone chargers, maybe your battery chargers on the plane, camera batteries, maybe sunglasses, just quick items. Then the Peak Design definitely 
really honestly does a great job of just having those little mesh compartments. You throw what you need in there, you got it, bada bing, bada boom, you're good. But if you're like, well, I want one compartment that's gonna be boarding passes and it needs to be easy to get into, and then the other one I might put a couple little items and I need my WR pouch for this, and I might wanna change my shoes on the plane because I just like to change my shoes, then I would say the boundary supply bag has the kind of organization that you're gonna want. Again, it all really comes down to when you're looking at either of these bags, what kind of organization do you want and what kind of carry are you comfortable with? Because capacity wise, you're gonna get about the same. And if you're gonna bring more than what either of these can fill, then you might wanna look at like a 40 to 45 liter travel backpack or maybe downsize what you're bringing. That's also an option. Just throwing it out there. You don't have to, just saying, just saying. But that is the way to go. And then briefly, let's talk about the materials, right? So the Peak Design has more of that tarpaulin, rigid, rigidity type feeling to it, where it's just all the way around, that nice kind of rubbery, got the rain flap guards on the, on the zippers, on the front zipper, on the side zippers, all the way around that nice like tarpaulin kind of feel. Whereas the Boundary Supply has more of that fabric. Uh, Kodra, Kodura? I don't remember which one it is, but it's one of those kind of feelings, you know, that you get on, if you have like the Prima, you know, if you have the Prima system from Boundary Supply or even like the airbag, um, it's that kind of material all the way around, except for on the bottom, you get a little bit of this like rubbery kind of material. And then that's basically it. And then as where the Peak Design has um, this tarpaulin that kind of goes over the zippers, as well as some, uh, this, these big ones here are AquaGuard, they have the AquaGuard zips. The Boundary Supply has the AquaGuard zip down the middle, and then it has the Rainfly on the one on the side. And then the same thing with the shoe compartment is Aqua, Aqua Seal. And same kind of hardware on both of these two, both YKK zippers, the hardware on this stuff, either one of these bags, whichever one you pick when it comes to the hardware, whether it's the fid locks on this, or you know the, mag the little metal pieces that are on the handles for this one, or the zippers, or the material construction, you're not gonna have to worry about wear, you're not gonna have to worry about tear, you're not gonna have to worry about it breaking down on you, it's going to last, it's very durable. Both of these bags are super durable. So overall, what I would suggest, and this is kind of how I determined on these bags, the Boundary Supply Bag is a perfect gym duffel, a perfect EDC duffel. It is a perfect road trip duffel. It was actually my primary source when I moved. This was my primary source of clothes and stuff that wasn't packed away. I used the Boundary Supply duffel. It is a perfect gym bag because it does literally everything I needed to do. It can hold my dirty clothes, it can hold my shoes that I'm not taking to the gym or if I'm taking my rock shoes, it can hold my rock climbing harness, it can hold all that, it can hold my supplements, all that stuff. It's a perfect gym bag. The Peak Design duffel really shines as a carry-on for travel. And I mean like travel travel, like airplane travel, because of these easy quick access compartments on the side, the material, and personally the duffel bag strap, it makes it really easy with this in duffel bag mode to you know have a smaller backpack or maybe even have another sling or whatever, you know, maybe like a fanny pack. I'm a big fan of taking one bag and like a pack like a fanny pack, the D1 from Wandered. Fantastic. Still working on that sling video, slowly but surely trying to get a couple more, just waiting for them to come back in stock and that video will be on the way. But honestly, this really shines as a carry-on because it's just really easy to put everything you need in there and just throw it up top. And it has great handles on this thing for doing that. It's just a good bag for travel carry, for carry-on travel, travel carry, carry-on travel. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And honestly, it's just, it's great for that. I, I think that this one really does shine more in the travel carry-on compartment and this shines more as an EDC. But that is me. Again, whatever you think is best for these, you're absolutely right because it's for you and that's how bags work. One bag can be right for Billy Bob down the street and then, you know, Susan might want something different and then, you know, Philip is in the middle going, well, where's my diaper bag, mom? Because Philip is a four-year-old or three-year-old. What, what age do kids stop wearing diapers? Can you tell I'm not a father? I'm not a father. I have a dog. I have a dog that fits in these. Does that count? He's very cute but he doesn't wear diapers. So that's gonna, um, that's, that's gonna do it for these bags. That diaper bit just drained what little energy I don't have left in me. So 
Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which bag are you leaning towards? If you need, um, like I said, if you want to see more of these, I have videos on them. But if you need any more information, shoot me an email, odiematthewsbags at gmail.com. Always open for emails, always open for questions. If you need anything else, you want to know anything else, just hit me up, let me know. I'll make sure to answer those for you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about either of these, put them in the comments below. If there's a project I'm going to get my hands on and do a review on, let me know. I'm pretty booked though. Honestly, I've got like six videos lined up, which is super cool. I've never really had that many lined up in advance. So keep the suggestions open. I'm definitely still gathering them, putting them on a list to make sure that I get to them. But I actually have a few videos lined up already, a couple projects and everything. So it's really cool and really fun. Uh, thank you guys again for all the love and support. Really, really means a lot to me. I can never stress that enough at the end of these videos. I feel like I can make a whole video just saying thank you, and I will see you next time.